What's up guys, this is BK and today we are talking about Aperture. Welcome back guys, my name is BK, a conceptual photographer based in Ghana, Kofuridia to be precise, and we are glad to have you on the second episode of our series, Essential Things Every Photographer Needs to Know. Alright, so on the first episode, we talked about shutter speed, and on this episode, we are talking about aperture. Aperture is basically the amount of light that is allowed through the lens of a camera to hit the image sensor. The aperture is usually described in terms of f-stops or f-numbers. The f denotes the focal length and the stops represent the diameter of the lens. If we have f slash 3.2, the f there represents the focal length, which might be 135 millimeter, 50 millimeter, or 200 millimeter. And then the 3.2 or the 3.5 represent the diameter of the lens. So, for instance, if we have 135 millimeter as our focal length, and then we choose an f stop of 3.5, or we choose a stop of 3.5, if we divide 135 by 3.5, we are going to get 38.6, and the 38.6 is actually our aperture opening and which is the diameter of the lens so basically if you are choosing an f-stop of 3.8 or 3.2 or 1.4 or 2.8 it is actually divided by the focal length that being said we have to note that the lower the aperture settings the wider the opening of the lens and then the higher the aperture settings the smaller the opening of the lens most photographers prefer fast lenses to slow lenses fast lenses are lenses with low aperture and slow lenses are lenses with higher aperture a fast lens can have as low as 1.8 f-stop whereas a slow lens can have as low as 4.0 f-stop fast lenses are pretty much expensive as compared to slower lenses and most photographers prefer fast lenses because they allow more light through the lens as compared to a slow lens all right pro tip if you're a portrait photographer you might want to use a lower aperture to help you get a shallow depth of field because this will help separate the subject from the background and your picture is going to look amazing and if you are a landscape photographer you might want to use a higher aperture value which in turn help you to get a full depth of field get all the details in place and your your photograph is also going to look amazing all right guys so that is the end of this episode we thank you for sticking by and subscribe if you haven't already it helps support this channel and please share the videos to any creative you know out there so that it will also help them as well shutter we have types of shutter we have <laughs> shutter wally <laughs>